Surge 1.9 has been released. Surge is an open source virtual analog synthesizer. They say it's a hybrid synthesizer because it has a wavetable oscillator, but it also has classic sawtooth square wave triangle wave oscillator, and also it can do FM and a lot of other things. If you haven't ever heard of Surge and you are into music production, especially electronic music production, then I don't know what you've been doing. <laughs> If you have heard about Surge and you are interested in what is new in the 1.9 release, then this is a video for you. Hey, I'm Anfa. I'm an electronic music producer and sound designer, but I only use open source software and Linux. Here is Surge 1.9. I have it set up so I can play on it. And also I have a little spectrograph so we can see what's happening in the frequency domain as we do this. Alrighty, so what's when you take a look at the new version of Surge, nothing jumps out as new. Uh, this effect section looks a little bit different and I think it's just uh, the visuals. Mm, but there is quite a few very interesting things added in that I've discovered just playing around f with it for a while and I just couldn't keep myself from uh, from experimenting with it. So I would like to do a little exploration, show you what I found, and also just have some fun. By the way, I'm running this on Linux in Carla, a non-linear plugin host. This is VST free, and hopefully LV2 version of Surge is also finally going to be an option once they switch to Juice. But that's technical details. Let's check out the new things. There are two areas I, s I have seen lots of changes in, and one of them is effects. So here is my default saw wave. And when I open this effect dropout down, you can see there's quite a lot of new stuff. Uh, <laughs> we have EQ, that was here. We have Exciter, I believe that's new. We have Graphic EQ, which is now... A little fixed band EQ. We have a resonator. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just a filter bank. I think it's just three filters uh, put together. Ciao. I think Chow is a tape emulation or maybe it's a compressor. Let's see. I don't hear any difference right now. Let's try this with a sine wave of a slater. Okay, now I can hear it. Okay, we're having some uh, saturation going on in here, I think. Next up, we've got distortion. This is old stuff. Neuron. I have no idea what this is. Wow, that is loud. <laughs> modulation. Was what is modulating? Oh. Oh, my God. 
This is interesting. I like how uh, chords respond to that. I believe this is some kind of a distortion unit. There's also tape. Oh, interesting. Maybe I will change to something different, like... Uh, Yeah, that saturates nicely. We have a lot of saturation options right now. <laughs> All right. Combo Combulator. What is Combulator? Oh my goodness, that's so really cool. It's a bunch of comp filters, I guess. That's why it's called Combulator. Whoa, what happened? Did they follow the note? Oh, let's try white noise. I don't think they follow the note. <laughs> Key track. Here. Yeah. Yeah, they don't follow the note. <laughs> but it's very interesting, and I think it could be used for creating um, like a resonator. Uh, like trying to emulate a resonant box, a resonator for an instrument, like, you know, the box of the guitar or or a cello. Like, this is, of course, a bit, maybe, maybe a bit too metallic, but I think it's, there's interesting uses for this. Frequency shifter is what we know. Nimb nimb nimbus, nimbus. What is that? Okay. Okay, that's some non-harmonic stuff. Holy snap. Some kind of delay. All right, some kind of pitch shifting delay. Granalyzer. 16 kilohertz 8 bit mono. Okay, so this increases delay. Weird. Very weird. Ring mod is what we had already. Tree monster. What is that? Holy snap. What is going on? What if we give ourselves some voices? Without, with. Great for eerie 70s sci-fi stuff, I guess. Three monster, vocoder, we already know that. Chorus, ensemble. What's an ensemble? Okay, we have one voice, and this is doing something. Type. 20, 
250 what is that bucket bucket brigade delay all right so that's an analog digital delay emulation Too bad I can't have this in a musical time. It would be great. Weirdness ensues. So that's ensemble. Flanger, phaser, and rotary speaker. We know what these are. Delay, reverb one, reverb two. Oh, yes. And now air windows. <laughs> uh, Chris is making lots of effects um, in his project air windows, and they are all open source. He's publishing the source code on GitHub. Uh, and Serge has been adding a lot of his effects right into the synthesizer. So... For example, ambience is reverbs. Oh, I clicked on the wrong way, on the wrong thing. Galactic. This is just a sort of. That's this. No modulation. Modulation. <laughs> it's nice how it starts to alter the harmonics. Oh, now it's... I think it's chorus. This is Lopez filter, I think. I think we can freeze it if I move the re re replace knob all the way to right. To the left, I mean. It it replaces all the sound and it just holds. was something so that's galactic there is an absolute crazy amount of, of effects from air windows in here some of them are really cool Very strange reverb. There's a bunch of them. Um, there's also clipping, dynamics, compress saturator. All that audibly adds uh, transients. Filters, capacitor. It's That's a very, very smooth filter. Uh, 
And if you mix it, you can create some notches as filters do. Lo-fi noise. Holy snap. Um, <laughs> Looks like this is a bunch of other saturators in one. Okay, uh, NC17. Sorry for the loudness. Okay, so that's uh, air windows. There's also conditioner. Oh, that's that's a new preset. Sit tight. <laughs> All right. Uh, enough of the presets. Now let's move on to the oscillators because there's some new business in there. So classic is what we had before. Now we also have modern. It's interesting how an upward saw sounds different from a downward saw. At least to me on these headphones. So, we can mix a bunch of stuff and also affect other things like what is width? Ah, oh, pulse, okay. Okay, but there's more. We have a wavetable, window, sign, FM2, FM3, of course, and there's also string and twist and alias string. What is string? This is string. It's a string and <laughs> physical module. Burst sign. That's some really unique sounds in there. Audio in. Also, you could route in <laughs> external sound and use it to um, constant noise. That's going to I think if I do this, it would sound like we're sweeping Interesting stuff. Okay, let's move on to twist. What is twist? Engine, waveform. Alright. LP. 
LPG response. What is LPG? Decay. Low pass. What is that? What does LPG stand for? I don't know, but it creates these also plucky sounds. Formant PD. I'm gonna disable. Interesting sounds. I would like to re read up about all these because that's a lot of stuff to take in. I think this is, should be like excited with uh, an envelope. Strange. Very weird things here. I'd like to know how does this work? What is twist exactly? Oh my goodness, chords. <laughs> what is this? Oh, because I'm modulating, a modulating type and shape. That's a really cool sound. Let me add a, one of these Air Windows reverbs. <coughs> Maybe mm, verbity. creates a chord progression <laughs> with a single oscillator played on <laughs> organ. <laughs> Holy snap. That's a speech synthesizer. Right in surge. I think I'm going to disable this for a while. Species? <laughs> it's, that's form and shift. That's so cool. Granular cloud. I'm gonna make this... Oh, it's a stereo, okay. Too bad this is not producing a stereophonic sound because I think that would sound really nice. Oh, by the way. Oh, I think there is some random, um, random seed changing every now and then.
This is creating some really interesting textures. Wow, filtered noise, particle noise. Hmm. Oh. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool! This synthesizes droplets of liquids. This could be like a vital noise crackle. Resonant. Oh, I guess raw mix is just the impulses. There's still some. Hmm. You know, if we use like a comb effect filter, it's pretty much like um, like we're like randomly chaotically plugging a string. I'm going to unset it, disable that particle noise, enharmonic string. Ooh. This is cool. My goodness! Such amazing stuff! <laughs> I just wish I could have it decay freely because right now when I release the key... Oh, maybe if I do this... Wow. Model resonator. Okay, I'm not adding reverb to this. This is dry. There is no reverb. It just sounds like that. Material. It sounds like plastic pipe. Glass. Metal. All right. Analog kick, snare, and hi hat. Okay. Crazy stuff. Really crazy things. What else do we have? Alias. Oh, it's a bit mask. I guess with a sub bass sine wave, this could be a nice. Oh. All 
What else do we have? I guess that's the sawing. All right. interesting sounds. I think this is all. We have SNH noise. That's already been there. Okay, so that's kind of a jam with all the new uh, stuff that's in Surge 1.9. I, I haven't seen any other features yet. So that was Surge 1.9. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting and hopefully inspiring. Mm. If you have any questions, uh, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I would also like to thank all the fine people who are supporting my work on Patreon and LiberaPay. Uh, if you, dear viewer, would like to join them, please go there and you can give me a buck or two every month so I can keep making videos like this one. Now go and experiment with Surge 1.9. Bye. Is that I need to